Hello, hello, hello! What's up tonight, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so this deck, this deck is sweet. I'm very excited for our deck tonight. Uh, it's basically four color mono green Kiora Devotion. So if you're not familiar with this deck, we're a mono green deck, we got tons of ramp. Arbor Elves, Utopia Sprawls, we even have Voyaging Seder to do more on tapping, Overgrowth for even more mana. So the early turns of the game, we spend ramping. Then once we get to like turn three, turn four, we want to be casting Kiora primarily. So Kiora is super sweet in this deck because every ability is good. We plus it, we can untap like Nykthos, we can untap lands that have you Utopia Sprawls and Overgrowth on them for even more mana. We can also take down to find more creatures and more lands to find all our random two-ofs and one-ofs and all that stuff. And we can also ultimate it and just win the game. So as we do all this ramping, hopefully we're getting value with Coursers and Tireless Trackers and Eternal Witnesses and, wh and whatnot. Eventually, we're going to use our summoning packs to find our finishers. And our finishers are pretty wild. We have two Pelucranos, dump all our mana into it, just Wrath away our opponent's board with the monstrous fight mechanic. We have an Elder Scale Worm, which is pretty much unbeatable for a deck like Burn. They just can't get off the table. We can't lose. It's like a weird worship. We have a Hornet Queen. We have a Crater of Behemoth. We have Primeval Titan to tutor up Hepesh Oasis and Kessig Wolf Run. So we have a lot of ways to dig through our deck and find our one-ups. So I'm excited to try it out. Mono Green Devotion is really fun. We are also doing a giveaway. So, Ridge Wallet, stream sponsor, is going to give away a Ridge Wallet to someone in the streams. First giveaway we've ever done. So thank you to Ridge Wallet for that. So stay tuned after our third round for the giveaway. Oh my god, that's a lot of Valakuts. Well, we gotta figure out a way to win quickly, because that's a lot of Valakuts. Ooh, Summoner's Pact. Okay. All right, deck list. What are we doing here, boys and girls? <laughs> There's got to be something sweet we could do. So we have one, two, three, four, five, seven mana if we're counting Kiora untapping. However, if we play the Summoner's Pact, it means we're going to have to make sure we pay for it next turn or we die. Our opponent shouldn't be able to kill us this turn unless they like have Breach or something. Oh, so many options. I think our best way to win next turn is to just tick down Kiora, hopefully get some creatures. Oh, I think we're going to take Courser. Courser still gets us up to enough life that we're not in danger of dying, and it helps us improve this draw. All right, win swap teeth, get him with voice, hopefully we win next turn. So opponent down to 18, Bloodbraid Elf. All right, in the search for tomorrow. All right, let's crack Windswept Teeth. We don't really need this Hornet Queen. Grab a Stomping Ground. So we untap, play Wooded Foothills, crack Wooded Foothills. I think this should do it, maybe. If it doesn't do it, I'm scared. Get a Forest. Gain a life. I guess we can play Utopia Sprawl for free just in case. We might as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Untap. Oh, yes. That's good. Untap, untap. Whoo! Well, that definitely does it now. Unless our opponent has a gut shot or something. Eight mana. Cast a Summoner's Pact. Crater of Behemoth, I think. And we will cast Crater of Behemoth. And we will win the game. All right. That was good. That was good. That was good. Trample him up. <laughs> I think we would have won even without the birds attacking, but with the birds attacking, 100%. That was pretty impressive, and Kiora was actually super good. And our opponent scoops it up. All right, good start, good start for four-color Kiora Devotion. Come on, no Pyroclasms, no Pyroclasms. Preferably no Lightning Bolts. Oh, Explore, all right. Explore is not, is not Pyroclasm. Oh, man. Here comes prime time. We're doing it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Wooded Foothills crack. Wooded Foothills. Oh man, are we just going to nut draw this deck? One, two, three, four. Untap. Oh, this hand. This hand. We're doing it. Five. Untap. <laughs> our one prime time and our one crater of play prime time. Use Primetime's ability, yes, please. Um, 
So let's take one Nykthos and one Raging Ravine. This way, if our opponent does have a Sweeper, it probably won't kill Prime Time. We can still hit for a, a bunch next turn. And if they don't have removal, then we just win next turn. It's just a... All right, Blood Ray Bolt. Good game. Good game. I think. I think this is good game. Do we have enough mana? We should have. I think that this works. Oh, man, and a Hornet Queen. So this taps for four. Hmm. We do have to... Is this enough damage? I mean, I guess we just do it. I think it's better to get the value while we can and just hope that we don't die. Yeah, we just got we got to hit for as much as possible. Go attacking. The Blood Braid makes it not quite lethal. It does force our opponent to chump. We do get lands out of our deck. <laughs> All right, off to a good start with Kiora Devotion. Opponent's got a Jace. Bounces Elder Scale Worm. I think we still just win here, though. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think we got it. I think Summoner's Pact, Tutor Up, Hoof should be lethal. Opponent getting in. So I think we just win here. Probably no reason to be tricky. We just do it and win. So cast a Summoner's Pact. Get a Crater Hoof Behemoth in this little pile of cards. Crater Hoof. Uh, seven mana. Windswept Teeth. Gain a life. Crag Windswept Teeth. Grab a Forest. And Hoof. Pump. And I think we kill Jays just to send a message. <laughs> we gotta. We gotta kill the Jays too. <laughs> Opponent blocks to send a message back. <laughs> Oh, we got him. We got him. <laughs> Drawing these summoning packs is making me want to say, you don't give us another land deck for the love of God, for the love of God deck. Please, please, opponent, Supreme Verdict, we know there's not a land on top, oh, we can't even summoning pack, alright, opponent passes, so we Utopia Sprawl, on, I guess red, play, sca <laughs> play scavenging ooze, oh, uh, I think we lose before we time out, which I guess is sort of good news, oh, four bolts, I think they had, or three bolts. I think they had four pass last game. Matchup's rough. Opponent mills. Getting close to flipping the surge. We can't really deal with it. Well, yeah, play Kiora. No counters. I think we gotta take down. No, no land! Oh, goodness, Dak. Goodness gracious. Oh, take a turtle witness, I guess. No, <laughs> yeah, I figured that would get us a land for sure, but no siree. Snapcaster for bolt number four. Yeah, we've had some really weird land running. I guess that's just the story of my life. Lactralize like kills Kiora. So good, so good. Search for his Kanta, about to flip. This is super bad news. Opponent. There's Celestial Colonnade. Gets in with Snapcaster. Yep. Down to 17. Well, there's a land. So play Eternal Witness. Get back. Oh, we gotta not time out. Let's get back Scavenging Ooze. Play Wooded Foothills. Crack Wooded Foothills. Grab a Forest. Nykthos Mana on green. Play Ooze. Eat Supreme Verdict. Eat Arbor Elf. Eat Arbor Elf. Pass the turn. Are we in this? Is there like a chance? Is there some chance? Ugh. So much removal. They get to flip their search for his Kanta. Yup. Opponent. Elspeth Sun's Champion. 
Make some soldiers. Out of cards. Out of cards! Okay, this is our chance. This is our chance to do something. This is our chance. Pona hits us. We gotta do something big this turn. Hornet Queen. Oh, we can hoof and kill Elspeth, but we don't win. How much mana do we have? Four. Oh, we're also running out of time. I think, I think our plan is play Hornet Queen, pass the turn. And in theory, Crater Hoof wins next turn. This is our hope. This is our hope. We need a little whiffage. Land. So it's going to come down to a search for his Conta activation. That is going to be this entire game. The entire match is going to come down to this search for his Conta. Here it is. Whiff. 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 Oh, they whiffed. They whiffed. They whiffed. Oh, my God. We got there. Oh, we did it. We did it. <laughs> oh, we're taking down control. Oh, we're not going to time out. Oh, we... I can't believe we got there. I can't believe we got there. Oh, we did it. <laughs> it looks so horrible. Make those soldiers opponent. Thank you. Summoner's packed. Uh, take a... Doesn't matter. Gaddick Teague, I guess. Play Wooded Foothills. Crack Wooded Foothills. Get a Temple Garden. Untapped. Play Gaddick Teague. Float a bunch of mana. Crater Hoof, and we got there. We got there. We did it. <laughs> Pump the dorks. Everything's huge. Go to combat. Everything at our opponent. Wow. We beat a control deck. We beat a control deck, and it felt so bad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Negative 52. <laughs> Oh, up to two and one. Well, that is, oh, that is a perfect time because everyone's in chat anyway. It is a perfect time uh, to do our giveaway. We're up to two and one. We got a chance to be feeding the children and I believe it's giveaway time. It's giveaway time. So here's the deal. Uh, I'm going to pull up the sponsor overlay. Big thank you to our stream sponsor, Ridge Wallet. Even if you don't get lucky enough to win, check them out, RidgeWallet.com. 10% off with the cold goldfish over at RidgeWallet.com. Our first ever giveaway. Thanks again to Ridge Wallet. So let me see. Let me pull this up. All right, here we go. Here we go. I am rolling it now. And the winner of our giveaway, Just Ben Brody Things. Just Ben Brody Things. Just Ben Brody Things, you are the winner of our Ridge Wallet giveaway. Um, let me know. All right. Just in New York as well. We have a New York winner. All right. I sent you a message. Just send me your uh, address and also the Ridge Wallet that you want. So just Ben Brody things. Thank you so much for entering. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to Ridge Wallet for giving away this super sweet wallet. I really like mine. So also good news for everyone who didn't win. We have giveaways. I believe two more. I believe next stream we will have another wallet giveaway. And then I believe there's a third one after that. So anyway, super sweet. Oh my God. Who? Uh, I don't even know if we want to kill Liliana now. I guess we have to. Kind of want this Bayloth for free. Well, let's kill Liliana. Oh, the blowouts. The blowouts. Dismembers. Yes. Oh, my God. We got him. Oh, this is... <laughs> oh, this is the greatest thing that has happened in this match. <laughs> uh, take Windswept Heath and Arbor Elf. Yup. Play Windswept Heath. Crack Windswept Heath. Get a forest. Play the forest. Take up that lily. Take up that lily about it. You know you wanna. You know you wanna. <laughs> uh, uh, it's it's such a good gotcha when someone <laughs> the surprise Bayloth. Oh. Uh, all right, fatal push. <laughs> Getting empty-handed. Our opponent. They might just scoop. This is pretty crushing. Pona is thinking, ha ha, I got him. They don't even save their Liliana by doing this. And we're like, ha ha. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha and they scoop it up. <laughs> wow, zero ladder. Our opponent's got to have a nutty hand. Pass the turn. 
Oh, we really wanted a colored mana. Oh, mi miss it? Oh, they missed it. <laughs> Discarding two to hand size. Oh, the greed. Maybe our opponent got unlucky. Oh, good. All right. Well, we're not doing much better. Our Arbor Elf beat down. Not going to get it done. Opponent still not drawing their lands. All right. Corsair is pretty good. Please, please land on top. Ugh, obstinate Bayloth. Well, that's Liliana protection if our opponent ever draws lands. Verdant Catacombs. Now they can start Fatal Pushing and stuff. And we're still not hitting lands. Overground Tomb untapped. Fatal Pushes Corsair. Well, tap, untap, play Eternal Witness, get back Corsair. Our hand would have been so good with a fetch land. I don't even know if we're winning or losing now. Mm! Land, please. That is the absolute worst land we could draw. Pass the turn. We're going to lose this. We're actually going to lose this. Our opponent discarded five cards to hand size, and I'm pretty sure we are very unfavored. Inquisition. I mean, I guess our opponent, we also whiffed on land drops for a million turns, so I guess it kind of equals out. Gets in with Death Shadow. Yep. I guess we take it. Down to 11. And that's game. That's probably the most brutal loss that I have ever experienced. Well, I guess we were equally unlucky with our opponent. Thought sees to two... Yeah, it doesn't get any more brutal than this, honestly. I don't think there's any path to victory from here. Yeah, we we didn't draw land. Our opponent didn't draw land for a while, but their hand was absurd. And our hand was absurd, but we didn't draw land. Yeah, that does it. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. We can get this win. Well, let's just stomping grounds. Untapped. I think we try to play Courser here. Gaddick isn't really doing anything yet anyway. All right, there's the remand. So next turn, we can try to get down Gaddick Teague. Island. All right, Spreading Seas. Well, this increases our chances of Gaddick Teague resolving. I guess we can Kiora and Gaddick Teague since our opponent gave us an island. All right, Windswept Teeth. This island is actually going to work in our favor. Crack it. Temple Garden, untapped. Tap, untap. Play Kiora. Untap, untap. Untap. Ooh. Gaddick Teague, resolves. Please. Oh, uh, Spell Snare. That's disappointing. All right. Pass the turn. Uh, now what? Now what? No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Oh, the miracle luck. Oh, that's so bad for us. That's really, really bad for us. Like, we might actually lose the game because of it bad for us. Wow. Well, I mean, we can't really pack Fatigue now because we don't even have the mana. Uh, Temporal Mastery is a brutal card when it does its thing. The only slight saving grace is our opponent doesn't have any card draw yet. Voice of Resurgence. Oh, our mana situation's so bad. We don't have white or red? That's a big problem. Huh. What do we do? I guess we gotta tick down Kiora to look for lands? And our Kiora does not like us. We'll take a tireless tracker. Yeah, I feel like we're in pretty rough straits now. Play Corsair. Well, there's a land. I don't even think we can search up white mana, though. Crack it. We only have one of each off color. Yeah. Ugh, that's not not ideal. Get a forest. Gain a life. Play Voyaging Seder. All right. Oh, there's the card draw. Uh-oh. That might be it. All right. I assume that this is where we just die. Usually the card draw equals the end. Nykthos. Opponent, Temporal Mastery. Opponent gets to draw an extra card. Scalding Tarn. Cracks it. Prairie Stream. Jace. Six ma- Yep, alright. Well, this is where we scoop it up.
I don't know. The deck is sweet. I feel like we played a lot of bad matchups, and I feel like the sideboard, it does some good things that I like, but we need ways to deal with Jays. And maybe it's just like our league was a fluke, and we wouldn't play against a Jays control deck for another 50 matches or something. But based on our league tonight, having a Carnage Tyrant or a Thrun would have been a huge, huge deal. So I like some of the things that the sideboard is doing. I'm also very unsure on playing Vendillion Click with a single blue source. And you saw it, we also played against a lot of Spreading Seas, which one of the upsides of playing this deck right now is no one really plays Ghost Quarter anymore, or not as many decks play Ghost Quarter. A lot of people are playing Field of Ruin, which makes the Utopia Sprawl plan way better than it was before. But we ran into two or three Spreading Seas decks, and Spreading Seas is an absolute blowout. So I feel like the deck does some good things, and it has some potential, and I like some of the things that we did, but uh, there's still definitely some issues with it, and I feel like we ran into some bad matchups, which, if we ran into, like, one Jace deck or something, probably would have been a lot more likely that we would have been able to pick up at least a 3-2 or a 4-1, so, eh, the deck was cool, a little disappointed with the finish, but what could you do? We did some cool things, at least. Uh, so anyway, I think that brings us to the end for tonight. So let's see. Uh, one more shout out to our sponsor from tonight's stream, which was Ridge Wallet. Check out Ridge Wallet. You can get 10% off with the cold goldfish at RidgeWallet.com. Also, YouTube channel. We have a goat magic going up tonight. Commander Clash tomorrow. Much of Brew featuring some blue red kiln fiend on Sunday. Replay YouTube if you want to check out any of the old streams, including this one. We'll have more Ridge Wallet giveaways next week, by the way. So big thank you to everyone who donated, who hung out, who did the contest. You all are amazing. It's always a blast. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.